An unbelievable performance tonight um, by, uh, by Jody Meeks. Um, he did anything he wanted to do out there. I'll tell you what we wanted to try to do against them, and you can see how pitiful we were. Uh, we're supposed to deny him the ball and force him and put so much ball pressure on him that we try to get him to go to the rim. Well, he did the very first play of the game offensively, and then he never had to get to the rim after that. All it was was making jump shots and, and getting fouled. Um, you know, defensively, we were trying to guard him as a team. We didn't have one particular guy on him, uh, but none of our guards can, could guard him. Um, and he played 39 minutes along with Patterson. Uh, we were hoping that they would wear down, but they were better conditioned, and, um, and obviously they executed you know, much better. Um, you know, our effort was, uh, was spotty. Um, I thought we played hard for most of the game, and obviously um, we were frustrated at the end and not being able to uh, be more effective. We're working on it. <laughs> it's not something that's just going to happen in one game. It's yeah, it is. It is what it is. It is frustrating. Um, our guards have a hard time keeping guys in front of them. Um, and it's a, you know it's and it's definitely a weakness. And people, you know, people scout. They watch tape and they look at our, look at our guards and they say, hey, we can go by these guys. We've got you know our guards are big, and our guard we're too big. My teams have always been undersized, and we just got ourselves in a situation where when we lost, you know, three senior guards and then, and then Ramar, we lost four guys that were 6'2", and didn't replace them with anybody but Bobby and Daniel. And so we just got ourselves where we were just a little bit too big, and you could see against a quick guard, or you could see against a number of quick guards, it, it's, it's a problem for us. Nope. I thought Brian was playing well. I thought Brian Williams played, but he played pretty well against Georgia. So that's why we went with a three-way rotation. Bruce, do you think tonight is a, how true of a read is it on where Kentucky is and where you are? I think it's a, I think it's a I mean, you get a win like that at our place, it's a, pr it's a pretty convincing read. And we've always played them well, um, but they were clearly the better basketball team. And... Um, you know, we're disappointed because we, we, we thought that if we played well, we could beat them. And I thought, our team, I thought our team prepared well. I thought we had a good scout, a good game plan. I thought our kids really paid attention. Um, you know, there's no, there's no question our guys wanted this and, and worked for it. And I know there's going to be, uh, you know, they quit or they didn't play this, they didn't do that. I, I understand that. You know, we were frustrated. I thought we played hard for... Most of the game, we didn't we didn't play well, and they played great. Well, I mean, we play best when everybody contributes, and we're not we're not playing that way. You know, we're you know I'm glad that you know Tyler and Wayne continue to be consistent. You know, but the percentages aren't good, and. Um, so we're not sharing the ball as well offensively. Um, you know, we've shot ball, we've shot free throws well pretty much all year long, and so um, you know we probably got to get some more repetitions. But um, a lot of it, it's about the guys that get to the line. You know, Tyler and Wayne. You know, seven for seven. Wayne was four for six. Scotty made both of his. The only two guys that missed free throws, Brian and Cameron, missed three and four. That's it. That's the only guys that missed free throws. So two guys missed free throws, and the other guys made their free throws. And so I don't think it's a team issue. Yeah. Yeah, and I thought that they were getting I – mean, I thought we were in good shape there. We, we, it was, we were in a timeout. Um, I don't know, were we coming back on the floor to shoot free throws ourselves? Or I mean, we were coming out of timeout with something. Maybe it was our ball. Um, was it our ball? So we really felt good at that point. And I think, did we not get a basket? Did we get a basket on that one too? Um, 
I thought we got a pretty good look coming out of that timeout. Yeah, no question. When you're, when you're, if your percentages are down and you're, you're feeling the pressure and you want it really badly and you're a freshman, you mentioned two of them, yeah, they're going to feel, their confidence is going to be shaking a little bit. Hmm? Tyler really competed. You know, he really did compete. But Tyler did not practice since Georgia. And so, you know, you can sort of see um, when he got hurt Wednesday night, playing Saturday at noon, conditioning wasn't a factor. It just wasn't a factor, so he played. And then, and then having Sunday and Monday without any work, very little work, just to have him ready for tonight, um, I think his conditioning and his timing, obviously not, not what they needed to be. Yeah, I, I don't there's any question that the schedule we've played has been a function of, of the elevation of our program. There's no question. And I think the schedule that we played this year with five new players has been a function of our not being very cohesive. You know, we, prior, you know, we had five non-conference home games prior to Gonzaga. And eight, 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 eight games were on the road or neutral. So we just never did get it going. And, um, you know, every night it's been, it's been a really good team. Now that can also, you know, prepare you to go on the road, and, and that can also, you know, prepare you to be, uh, you know, to, to be ready. But I think with, a, with, with as many new guys, and uh, you all are looking for the wording as far as this team is concerned. And I've, I, I, it's interesting to hear the banter and stuff like that. This is not a rebuilding year at all. But it is a there is a pretty big transition that took place because of such a huge shift in the personnel. You know, we're not rebuilding. We are, we're trying to defend our championship. And we feel like we can be competitive. Tonight we were not competitive against a team that has got a chance to, to win the league. I mean, Kentucky, um, you know, was, was a team that some picked. Um, and, and obviously, with, with, with the inside-outside punch and having a player like Meeks, is really, I mean, he's, he's pretty special. Was there a fear before you started the season that running the gauntlet like you have, that you either go two ways, it can either make you stronger or it can make you tired? Were you worried about that? I don't understand the question. Well, that either it can build you up or play, like I said, so many great teams after a while, by the time you get done with it, you've seen everything and you're a little bit exhausted. Right. I don't think we're fatigued. I, I think it's more of a confidence issue. It's more, you know, and, and, and having younger players, you know, play well and build, build them up a little bit. And we just never had that opportunity. And we don't, you know, you, but you can't look back. It's been, it's scheduling the schedule is what, you know, has gotten us, you know, bringing teams in like Gonzaga, you know, bringing teams in like Memphis. It's where we want to be, playing that schedule. It was probably tipped a little bit too heavy. We talked about that at the beginning. You know, when you play the number one strength of schedule, it's obviously there are how many Division One teams? Three hundred and twenty something. That means three hundred twenty-eight teams didn't play as tough a schedule as you did. So it's probably tipped a little, you know. But that's done now. That's done now. We've got to look forward and, and uh, um, okay, that's a factor. But we can't let that, uh, you know, prevent us from playing as well as we're capable of playing. We can't let confidence become too much of an issue. Okay. We'll figure those guys out tomorrow. Thanks.